Hi, this is Cinema 1408, and today we'll be recapping the movie titled The Midnight Meat Train. Late at night, a man on a train suddenly wakes up alone, worried he might have missed his stop. As he moves to another part of the train, he slips in a puddle of blood, getting all wet and scared. Strange thumping sounds come from nearby, like someone is being hurt, so he checks it out and sees something alarming. In bustling New York, a guy named Leon Kaufman takes photos of the city as his job. He shares an apartment with his girlfriend, Maya Jones. Spending time together, Maya notices that Leon's job is stressing him out. She thinks it would be nice to secretly call his boss and arrange for him to meet a famous gallery owner named Susan Hoff hoping it would make him happy. The next day, Leon joins his boss, Jurgis, for a meeting with Susan at her office. Leon introduces himself and shares his photographic style, which focuses on capturing the unique and gritty aspects of the city. However, Susan is not impressed. She criticizes his work, suggesting that he needs to take more risks and infuse more life into his shots. Leon takes her feedback to heart, finding it hard to sleep that night. Seeking inspiration, he ventures into the city subway system during the quiet night. As he prepares to descend the stairs, he witnesses a troubling situation unfolding. Three men are harassing a woman, and Leon, determined to help, takes photos of the incident. He draws the attention of one of the harassers who starts approaching him. Leon points at the security camera, avoiding a physical confrontation, and the group releases the girl before leaving. The relieved woman expresses her gratitude even giving Leon a kiss before boarding the train. A well-dressed man by the door holds it open for her. After overcoming the stressful night, the woman happily plays music as the man approaches her from behind and abruptly strikes her head with a meat hammer, causing her instant death. The next day, Leon goes to his usual local restaurant where he's a regular. Being a vegan, he brings his own tofu and asks the cook to fry it for him despite some teasing. While reading the newspaper, he learns that the woman he rescued, Erika Sakaki, has gone missing after taking the train. Concerned about her well-being, he decides to take responsibility and promptly hands over the photos of her harassers to the police. Detective Lynn Hadley, in charge of the case, doesn't fully buy into his theory and suspects Leon of stalking Erica, thinking he might be involved in her disappearance. Later that day, Leon meets with Susan again to submit his photographs. To his surprise, Susan is genuinely impressed and the images earn him her respect as a photographer. She even invites him to submit two more powerful pictures for her upcoming group show. This marks a significant moment in Leon's career, feeling acknowledged by higher-ups for the first time. That night, he, Maya, and Jurgis celebrate with drinks to toast to this newfound recognition and success. The celebration takes an unexpected turn as Leon decides to return to the subway for more photos. Inside the train, three passengers find themselves on a different route, missing their intended stop. Spotting the man who killed Erica in a convex mirror, they ignore the warnings of a woman who noticed him approaching. Suddenly, the man, known as Mahogany, brutally smashes one passenger's head with a meat hammer, causing instant death. Mahogany, armed with a hook, targets the next victim, lifting him into the air. The woman tries to flee but slips in a pool of blood, while Mahogany menacingly advances. A man attempts to intervene but gets mercilessly attacked with a meat hammer. The last passenger suffers a similar fate, resulting in decapitation. Outside the station, Leon waits for interesting passers-by to photograph. Spotting Mahogany, he captures a photo and starts following him. Mahogany senses being trailed and stops, causing Leon to feel uneasy. As Leon turns the corner, Mahogany stands still, waiting for him to pass. Nervously explaining that he just wants a photo, Leon notices a ring with eight stars on Mahogany's hand. Miraculously, Mahogany lets him go after the brief encounter. While printing and inspecting his photos, Leon notices the same ring he saw on Mahogany, who held the door for Erica the night she disappeared. This sparks his suspicion that Mahogany might be behind the recent killings of late-night passengers, a rumor circulating in the city. From that moment, Leon dedicates himself to investigating Mahogany, shadowing him around the city and discovering that he works as a butcher. Intrigued, Leon waits for Mahogany to finish work and follows him to the subway station that night. Mahogany, Strangely observant, patiently waits for the station to clear out, spending hours sitting and watching for potential victims. As Leon captures photos of his subject, the train Mahogany has been waiting for finally arrives. However, before Leon can board the same train, a police officer stops him to check his camera. Inside the train, a robust man attempts to mock Mahogany, but realizes the train is heading to a different railway, missing his stop. Mahogany attacks him, knocking him down, but abruptly stops and drops the meat hammer after coughing up blood. Unbeknownst to Mahogany, the man pulls out a knife and tries to stab him. Despite the killer's evasive maneuvers, the two engage in a brawl, alarming the train driver, Mahogany's accomplice. The driver intervenes, shooting the man in the head and expressing disappointment in Mahogany. Meanwhile, 
Leon surprises Maya at the restaurant where she works with a pre-engagement ring. He is saving up for a proper engagement ring and the two joyfully share the precious moment. That night, Leon is plagued by a disturbing dream of being on the midnight train, witnessing mahogany butchering numerous victims. He wakes up realizing he's becoming consumed by his obsession with the butcher. In another part of the city, Mahogany, who suffers from a skin disease, stands before a mirror, using a scalpel to remove worsening excess skin. Strangely, he preserves the extracted skin, storing it in his medicine cabinet. Back at home, Maya notices the consistent appearance of the same man in Leon's photos. He explains his need to follow the butcher, suspecting him in a gruesome crime. Maya reminds him of the photos due for submission to Susan's show. Shifting his focus, Leon intensifies his research on the butcher. The next day, he visits Mahogany's workplace, pretending to be a butcher himself to gather more evidence. Despite feeling uncomfortable in the meat-centric environment as a vegan, he continues taking pictures. Mahogany spots him, prompting Leon to flee and avoid a confrontation. In a room filled with hanging animal carcasses, Leon spots Mahogany holding a meat hook and tries to hide by hoisting himself with an animal carcass. As he descends, the menacing butcher gives chase, but Leon manages to escape. Disoriented, Leon meets up with Jurgis at a restaurant where Jurgis is enjoying a large plate of steak. Strangely craving meat that day, Leon grabs a piece of the steak, shocking the cook and Jurgis with his unexpected behavior. Later that day, Leon gathers a multitude of newspaper articles related to the midnight train murders, turning his apartment into a sea of documents. When Maya comes home, she finds Leon acting frantically, bombarding her with information about the disappearances all linked to the butcher. Annoyed by his obsession, Maya urges him to stop his nighttime photography and dismisses his investigation as a mere conspiracy theory. In an attempt to distract him, she hands him his camera for a portrait session, but Leon can only envision the midnight train and the butcher, unable to press the capture button. Realizing his overreaction, Leon apologizes to Maya for his paranoia about the butcher. However, out of nowhere, he spots Mahogany's reflection just outside the restaurant, seemingly taunting him. This immediately reignites Leon's obsession. He heads to the subway station, boards the train, and prepares to take more photos of the butcher. During the ride, Leon focuses on Mahogany, who is in another section of the train. New passengers board at the last stop, only to meet a gruesome fate with a meat hammer. Leon witnesses the bloodbath, confirming his suspicions that Mahogany is a serial killer. Summoning courage, he stands up and starts taking pictures while the butcher cleans up the scene. In horror, Leon watches Mahogany extract the victim's teeth, nails, and hair before hanging them upside down. Mahogany catches sight of Leon and smirks, prompting the photographer to sprint along the aisle. At the train's end, Mahogany smashes Leon's head against the window, rendering him unconscious. Upon awakening, Leon finds himself in a slaughterhouse, but miraculously alive. Returning home, he ignores a concerned Maya. In the bathroom, he discovers peculiar markings on his chest, which Maya notices soon after. Leon reveals Mahogany's sinister plot, but with his camera confiscated, he doubts the police will believe his story. Concerned, yet trusting him, Maya decides to retrieve the photos, enlisting Jurgis's help. Maya and Jurgis break into Mahogany's apartment. Jurgis explores the tools while Maya discovers Mahogany's preserved skin in the bathroom. Unbeknownst to them, Mahogany returns, capturing Jurgis upon finding Leon's hidden camera. As Maya exits the bathroom, she sees Mahogany's bag and timetables chronicling over 100 years of train murders. Realizing Jurgis is in danger, she flees the apartment. Maya reports Jurgis's disappearance, but Detective Hadley remains skeptical. Although she claims to have sent an investigation team to Mahogany's apartment, they find nothing. Pressed to return the timetables, Maya demands answers, but the unhelpful detective provides no assistance. At the gallery event, Leon is introduced to impressed clients, but he's too stressed to engage in conversation. As he walks around the gallery, he stops by a photograph featuring Mahogany. Deep in thought, Susan asks what's wrong. Before walking away, Leon cryptically says, I have a train to catch. Meanwhile, Maya retrieves a hidden gun from the restaurant, learning from Detective Hadley the location of Jurgis on the train. She boards the train and back at the slaughterhouse, Leon equips himself with various weapons, ready to confront Mahogany in full butcher gear. On the train, Maya realizes it has taken a different direction. Bravely standing, she makes her way along the aisle, catching Leon's attention. Desperate, he chases and manages to climb onto the moving train. Mahogany has just completed his nightly massacre when Maya sees Jurgis hanging from a meat hook, her screams alerting the sinister killer. She tries to shoot him but misses, prompting her to run to the other end of the train. Mahogany throws his meat hammer, hitting her leg and causing her to fall. Cornered, he prepares to strike but Leon distracts him just in time, 
A face-off ensues between Leon and Mahogany, amid the swinging, ripped bodies on the train. The climactic brawl continues as they recklessly throw themselves at each other. Jurgis, hanging from a meat hook, tragically dies as Mahogany attempts to hold on. Finally, Leon manages to throw Mahogany out of the moving train, just before it reaches its final stop. As Maya approaches Leon, relieved that they both survived, the train's lights go out and the driver calmly warns them to step away from the meat. They soon discover the purpose of the abandoned station as reptilian creatures enter the train, devouring the bodies of the murdered passengers. Stepping down, they enter an underground cavern filled with skulls and decomposing bodies. A battered mahogany returns from beneath the train with transformed eyes, engaging in a final gruesome brawl with Leon. Ultimately, Leon impales mahogany's skull on a blade. And in his dying breath, Mahogany demonically grins, welcoming them. The train driver, revealed to be part of the sinister plot, picks up Leon, attacks him, rips out his tongue, and explains that the carnivorous creatures have lived underground long before the subway. Mahogany's job was to feed them nightly to prevent them from attacking civilization during the day. Approaching the unconscious Maya, the train driver cruelly allows Leon to watch as he cuts open her chest, extracting her heart. He hands it to Leon, informing him that he must now take Mahogany's place. The next day, a new butcher, wearing the same ring with the group symbol, takes up the job. He meets Detective Hadley, who hands him the train timetables, revealing her involvement in the secret society. The new killer boards the midnight train, seeking a new victim, and shockingly reveals himself as none other than Leon. 